one of the first things we want to do even before we head off road is to let somebody know where we're going to be right do a little bit of research do some homework on the trails that you want to run uh, is there anything in particular that you're going to need for your trip uh, in addition to just that take a good paper map along with you as well technology is great especially you know there's a lot of cell phone apps you know out there for navigation but a good paper map can actually be a lifesaver uh, can give you a slightly bigger picture and honestly a map like this also can give you a little bit of local information on the area as well it can make the trip a little bit more fun a little bit more informative at the same time a lot of times we like to travel at night right Right, you know as that sun goes down so having a good flashlight or a headlamp is going to be really helpful so make sure you know that we have our headlamp with us spare batteries for these are going to be essential as well make sure that you have have a couple of those um, <clears throat> so just kind of keep that in mind also in here compass uh, gps unit uh, a fire starter just in case right you know so things that we'll probably never need but it's great to have them just in case in addition to the bag of tricks good rain jacket pair of rain pants you know again we're here in Colorado not a raindrop in sight but as we gain elevation the temperature changes wind picks up so those can also function just as a windbreak maybe keep you a little bit warm as well if you need it a good first aid kit you know is always going to be a good thing just to have just in case you know kids slip trip and fall you know scrape their knee you've got something there to help out with that as well last but not least uh, recovery you know and recovery kits there's a lot of gear that we could potentially take with us uh, but at a bare essential really a good shovel right you know so have that there if we do get hung up and get a little high center we could probably you know, maybe it's soft ground dig the ground out from underneath us so we can have that shovel again very functional lots of different ways to use that piece of equipment but then also just a good recovery kit is going to help as well so within this particular recovery kit we've got a 30 foot long recovery strap and it is a recovery strap not a toe strap and the difference there is that a recovery strap is actually dynamic it has a little bit of stretch to it it has some give to it so it can build up a little bit of energy uh, as we as we start to stretch it a bit help a smaller vehicle extract a larger vehicle also the other advantage to this is that it's actually a little bit easier on the machine right you know so it absorbs the uh, the load of, of the pull not just so much the the uh, the body of the vehicle um, so again lots of uses for it great piece of kit bear essentials trail essentials have fun out on the trail, Bronco Nation.